Hello and welcome back to Scotland. I'm not canoeing this time, but I'm spending a few days fishing with my father-in-law in search of the Atlantic salmon. Each year the salmon make the journey from the sea up the rivers, avoiding the estuary nets, most of the fishermen, and negotiating the steep waterfalls along the way. I'm just near the town of Bankery in Aberdeenshire. Here is the mighty River Dee. My family have been fishing the River Dee since well before I was born. As well as enjoying a bit of fishing, I'm also really excited to introduce the latest addition to the fire trough family. And I'll be enjoying some riverside refreshments along the way. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the video.
Well, that could have gone one of two ways. <laughs> I've seen cowboy coffee made uh, many different ways. Uh, one of the uh, ways is where you put in a little bit of cooler water after you've boiled the grounds for a little while and that should make them um, sink to the bottom. Um, and I saw Mike from TA Outdoors the other day doing a sort of an, an arm motion towards the ground and then stopping it abruptly just before it um, touched the ground. Both ways work and I just thought well that's uh, the second way certainly is, is trying to sort of mimic a, a centrifuge as, as it were by um, getting the, the using sort of outward pressure to get the grounds to the bottom. So I thought oh, why not spin it around my head a little bit that should uh, do the trick. <laughs> Welcome to another short video. I'm here in Scotland doing a bit of fishing. It's September. I, I believe I had the same excuse last September. I shouldn't be here on the 16th of September in a t-shirt at nearly five o'clock in the evening. Absolutely sweltering. There's um, no water. Those of you who know a little bit about salmon fishing, you need this sort of nice fresh run of water for the fish to decide to make it from where they're waiting in the sea up the river to the spawning ground and uh, hopefully get intercepted by people like myself on the way but it's just uh, not to be. I'll keep plugging away at it but I wanted to show you the new twig stove. It's an adaptation of the fire trough mini um, in that what we've done is it still um, fits the Trangia style burner. It still has the little insert so you can just drop the, um, the spirit burner in it. But also now we've added this bottom grill and some feeding holes uh, in the ends so that you can actually um, have a, uh, have it, use it as a twig so. And I've just used it now for the coffee and uh, well, it, it's worked a treat. Um, it was great just being able to um, just gently feed in small twigs from the bottom and it boiled um, enough water for a couple of cooksers of cowboy coffee in no time really, just standard sort of twig stoves at that time. It's Oh, that's so good. It's the same concept as the original Fire Trough Mini, but yeah, it's just got that little added bonus of being now able to use it as a twig stove. I'm a little bit hungry, so I've bought some ingredients to make some bannock. I've just got um, some mixed up plain flour, salt, a little bit of powdered milk, and uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder and I'm just going to mix that now with a little bit of water to make a dough. Take a look on Amazon folks at this. I, I picked it up and it's just a lovely little setup. It's a standard sort of billy cooking can but it incorporates this lovely little sort of bamboo style um, chopping board so and it's got a little lip on it so it fits really nicely onto there and then it turns it into a little container for your ingredients and you can just use that to prepare your bits on i think that's fantastic um yeah i'll leave it in the description below but it's really good value and uh yeah i'd uh, pick up one of these if you can uh, i'm gonna hopefully make the bannock in it now so uh, give a little uh, demo and uh, impromptu review on it got some maple syrup as well got some extra flour in case i had too much water and also for um doing a little bit of kneading of the bannock and i've got some raisins there and here we go that's the bannock mix yeah that keeping a little bit of extra flour aside is is really important because it's quite crucial that you don't add too much water and I'm going to try and make it in the bag here so it's not too uh, too messy Oops. bit of flour on there my mixture <laughs> you said I wasn't going to make a mess oh well plenty of river to wash my hands in but no that's going to work out okay actually now bannock isn't something that you need to need to <laughs> need to need 
you don't it isn't required <laughs> to knead it too much because it's not going to rise or anything like that you just want to make it so it's a, a nice sort of elastic dough like that get rid of all this debris here throw that away in a minute a nice case for the thing already good good put that in there for a minute a few raisins with it Right, I'm just going to leave that on the stone here and clean this out and get this heated up. There you go, I'm just going to get the bannock nice and thin. dry fry it. You can actually spread it out a little bit in the pan as well. Well, that'll be done now. Really good. And cowboy coffee. fish should have been mine but here I am making videos on the other bank never mind <laughs> it was a, a good little snack I hope you like the look of the new fire drop mini it's now available on richardoutdoors.com um, if you remember we still have the just giving page open for the Alzheimer's Society um, you remember we did the canoe challenge there I've kept it open because what I'm doing is offering still um, this is called the adventure pack you get the full fire trough and there's the uh, video of the fire trough uh, up in the corner there if you haven't seen it before. and we're doing an offer on the website for those two together it's called the adventure pack um, and because of the uh, charity page still being open I'm going to give five pounds to the Alzheimer's Society for each of these packs sold thank you very much for the support so far well, it's just coming up to five o'clock, which means we've got to be back at the fishing hut and report all our catches. <laughs> but it's been great to see you again. Thanks very much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again.